All right, I think that should be all good. Now we can be able to proceed forward. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel once again here, or my, my Twitch channel here. This is Mac. So, as always, welcome. I'm going to be able to proceed onward with uh, part two of Terminator Resistance Enhance uh, the Annihilation Line. Again, this is the, the second installment. And so... Once I'm done with the uh, you know with the live stream part here, uploading onto my other YouTube channel, uh, uploading it to my YouTube channel, and then proceed on, proceed on with that type of progress. So, as always, for those who have already you know began following me on Twitch and subscribing to my channel on YouTube, greatly appreciate that. Thank you very kindly. That type of support is always greatly appreciating and does help help with uh, you know it does help with my channels on the long run of things. By all means. Please do keep up with that type of support. And for those of you who are viewing the who are viewing this, by all means, please do follow me on 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 Twitch, which is McKellar Triple O Seven, and my YouTube channel, which is McKellar. I'm gonna be gradually as I go along. I might tweak up a little thing, uh, tweak up on some things on both the channels here and there, and then hopefully be able to make it more flourishable if possible. Okay, so I guess without further ado here. Let's go ahead and kick this off. All right. <clears throat> and we'll let's go with and we'll let's go with uh, the continue here. So the very last time I was at this location right here still within um Still within that area, where uh, Kyle Reese and the rest of his teammates, including Jacob, they had to try and get the evacuation process up and going, get everyone out of there. But apparently, they found no one, and they're really confused. Like, what what happened? What happened to everyone here? What's going on? So, those of you who have played who have played this type of DLC before, you probably know what I'm talking about. To those who have not, just stay tuned. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Okay, so I may end up making about maybe one or two, uh, you know, one or two videos uh, today or tomorrow. I know one for sure, uh, just to kind of get the whole progress up and going, but we'll see. All right, so we have Jacob still within this area where they're supposed to conduct or uh, execute some kind of like a evacuation type of plan, but nobody's here. And this is Pharaoh's uh, diary. I never understood why you bothered with this diary, Brooks. You'd always have to sit with your your pen before you join you joined us at, at the fire. But now, reading through it, I get it. This diary is us. It's our team. The laughs we had, the sh the shit we got we got each other through. Every little. Every little thing, down to our arguments about who's going to ride shotgun. Shit, it's it's a it's a record of our of our frick up little family. It's it's partly a record of me. I can't bear the thought that that you'll never fill it. So m many blank pages would probably have been easier to just been the been the thing in. And forget it all. But I need a new damn flint for my Zippo. So instead, I'll try to continue on where you left off. Starting now. One thing I have learned about... One, like one little so-called uh, little rule that I have learned about diaries is that... Should you really be reading someone else's diary? I'm pretty sure there are people in this world who still have diaries in this world. They just go ahead and keep writing it up or whatever and expressing their thoughts on onto page. Um, I think it may have something similar to that once, but uh, that was like decades ago. Not good. And it's not really all that important to really mention about it anyways. 
Sorry, no, this is a little itchy. Okay. So I finally got my first, um, you know, my first Terminator Resistance Enhanced, the Annihilation Line Part 1 up onto my, onto my YouTube channel. And I'm going to go ahead and progress with this one and the next one. So I'm going to crack this open and find John Connor's father. That, him right there, Kyle Reese. <clears throat> okay, first things first, I'm gonna, what I'm probably going to end up doing is... Um, there'll be some things I'll probably end up uh, getting rid of. Okay, uh, now I know I've mentioned this before plenty of times before already. <clears throat> Pardon me. I know I've mentioned this before plenty of times already that the shotgun... Uh, it does have some importance, some minor use to it, but not a great deal amount. In this type of game of circumstances, my first thought was, I'm going to be dealing with mostly T-600s and T-800s. The T-800s, you can um, so-called um, technologically paralyze them down. The T-600s, that I don't know. Unfortunately, I've never tested that. But at the same time, for the most part of things, I know the shotgun is not going to is going to help very little. So what I'm going to do is, is get rid of this and get rid of shotgun shells. Because <clears throat> again, I know for a fact I'm not going to really use any of that. All right. Let's go have a little chat with John Connor's father. Sarge, any new orders from HQ? Not yet. For now, we're on our own. I have Pharaoh searching for any intel we may have missed yesterday. We'll see what comes up. What do we know so far, sir? I've been analyzing the intel that we have. We got some theories, but nothing concrete. I'm curious to hear what you think happened here. Where do you think those people went? Okay, so a few type of uh, responses. Skynet killed them. Mm. Well, if you want to study on how uh, on how living skin, living tissue works, probably not. Mm. That T six hundred patrol abducted them, probably not. Maybe they were evacuated already. Baron mentioned they were waiting for evacuation. Maybe they already left. That was my initial thought, too. But one thing kept bothering me. An entire outpost wouldn't just move unsupervised. They would need a squad from another division to guard them to safety. That's the protocol. The escort is required to report that they secured the convoy. So if someone came for those people, we would have known about it. Unless, of course, someone decided to break protocol. As you can see, there's a lot to unpack here and questions keep piling up. At this point, we just have to keep our eyes open. Speaking of which, do you mind checking on Pharaoh? I'm waiting for a status report from her. Yes, sir. All right, new type of mission objective, witness. Okay, now done chatting with Kyle right here. Um, so I know for a fact I'm not going to begin to go ahead and, uh, you know, plasma blazing everything as of yet, because I know for a fact that I'm going to have to do some scavenging around for things that I will, that uh, I know Jacob's going to need and do, and well, at the same time, I'm pretty sure that Jacob is not exactly a cop, let alone, let alone a private investigator, but there's going to be some investig investigations that he's going to have to conduct. Uh, okay, so... Fast learner. Now, 
Now, I'm gonna guess last time I was here, especially uh, while I was live streaming, there is probably now nothing else for me to snag and grab and whatever. I know I usually do try to be thorough about these things. So at the same time, I'm guessing probably not. Mm. All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to go over here, grab this. Start crafting because I know exactly what I'm going to be needing. Okay. Okay. Now I do know that in uh, the main part, the main part of the campaigns, the main part of the story in Terminal Resistance Enhanced, where Jacobs is going on a bunch of missions and. Um, well, just the whole main storyline as it is. He finds the coordinates for uh, Skynet Central Core and gives it to John Connor, blah, blah, blah. We, I'm pr again, I'm pretty sure we already know about this. And I, I do know that throughout, uh, throughout the whole main campaigns of the story, of the gameplay as it is, I've used very little to none of those. Very little to none. Now for this DLC, I'm gonna be ha I'm gonna have to use, a, well, uh, I'd say anywhere between a good chunk amount of that to maybe quite a bit of that. So what I'm gonna do. Go up to fifteen. Hmm. Might as well, because I know for a fact I'm using them. Okay, hmm. I'm going to need... Let's try... Excellent. Well, lockpicks are always have, you just can never really have enough of that. Now, I don't think there's any more for me to try and look around and grab or whatever. I try to be quite thorough when it comes to searching around for stuff. Try to be anyways. I don't think I need... Oh, no, no. Okay, hold on a second. Before I do that... Um... Okay, you know, let's go ahead and talk to Pharaoh. God damn it! She's already getting frustrated. What's up? I'm trying to get inside the armory, but I suck at this. I'd love to do it the usual way and blow this door wide open, but Reese doesn't want us to make too much noise. Can you help me? Okay, so my hacking skills are high enough. Uh, they're only at, like, um, I'm thinking level 2. But as I have, since I have played this game plenty, since I have played this DLC plenty of times, and I've gotten, like, a good feel as to, um, as to pretty much what I need and don't need, I know that the hacking skill 
I'm pretty sure, at least throughout the whole, like, uh, throughout the whole DLC as it is. Yeah, I know I say that term quite a bit. Well, hey, I'm just merely being descriptive anyways. Throughout the entire whole DLC as it is, the Annihilation line, you pretty much, as far as I know about, you only need level 2 hacking. Just level 2. I don't think you need level... Th as far as I know of, I don't th think I came across level 3, but... As far as I do know, I don't think you need level three. Just level two, and you're good throughout the rest of, throughout the rest of the way. Okay, don't worry. I've pretty much messed around with this before. Nice job, Rivers. There huh. we go. Bummer. There's barely anything left. Looks like I lost a bet. Lost a bet. Yeah, we'll get into that. Mm-hmm. Shotgun shells. Well, I know I'm never going to use them, but at the same time... Currency is currency. Money is money. Coin is coin. I'll also take them. Termination knives. I don't think I'm going to be using those. Termination knives. I've used it once and that was it. It's like it's okay of a weapon, but I I know I don't really see myself using it very often. You mentioned a bet. What'd you mean? Evans has a theory that people here packed and left. I didn't think much of it at first. But an empty armory certainly is a head scratcher. I guess we've got to keep looking. Speaking of which, I'm supposed to do a sweep of the entire area, but there's a back room on the ground floor that I couldn't get into. It's blocked by a bunch of stuff that I couldn't move. Can you grab Evans and see if the two of you can clear it? Sure. I'll let him know. Feeding suspicion. Or sp suspicions. What do you think about this whole situation? I think it's obvious something fucked up happened here. I'm just mad at myself that I didn't see this coming. How so? Well, whenever Reese gets a direct order from Connor, something's off. I don't know what the deal is between them. They always keep their cards close. So, this happens a lot? More than I'd like it to, that's for sure. I just wish Reese included me since I'm always on these missions anyway. What's Reese like? You've worked with him for a long time. You want to know what Kyle Reese is like? He's like... stone. Or steel. Nothing ever gets to him. For better or worse. What do you mean? This is the first time we've been able to take a minute to ourselves since the failure of our last mission, you know? And he's been up all day trying to figure out our next move. He's able to just disconnect, work himself tirelessly, as if nothing happened. Even if a lot of shit happened. <laughs> that sounds nice. Yeah. I wish I could do that. He seems untouchable. I wonder how he got to be that way. And here I am, trying to hold it together, thinking about the people we lost. And not doing a good job at it. Well... You wanted to know about Reese, not me. That's what he's like. Rivers, report to the communications room when you have a minute. And I'm willing to bet there's a good there's a good percentile of that chance that John Connor is either similar or the same way as Kyle Reese. I'm pretty sure all of you can kind of connect the dots with that.
Now, I don't really think there's anything down here that I'll need. But, you know, nothing wrong with just double checking just in case. Because really, who knows? seek out Evans. Aha, see, didn't I tell you? There's always going to be a little something either here or there or something like that. A one minor little thing that, that you may come across and miss. Yeah. yeah. Pharaoh mentioned there's a back room nearby that needs checking. Can you help me? She said it's a two-man job. Just let me know when. How did you know we wouldn't find anything in that armory? I've been trying to work on the car, but the garage here is missing some tools. The only things still lying around here are what the protocol deems inessential equipment. The things that are supposed to be left behind during an evacuation. Those people were packed and ready to go. Do you think it's safe to stay here? That group of T-600s that we destroyed yesterday is a discontinued infiltration unit. They tend to malfunction. I doubt they're still connected to Skynet, so they couldn't give out our location. We're safe here. Having said that, I don't like the direction we're inching towards. North? Yeah. Let's go check that room. Now, here's something. Now, here's something a little comical for all of you in, in, in relations to this. You're going to come across. Um, <laughs> you're going to come across a little type of a, a cliche type of line, so to speak, that Evans is going to say, of which uh, the Call of Duty, Mar uh, with which uh, the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War character, uh, Bruce Thomas's character Russell Adler says very, very often to uh, uh, to the main character Bell. Now, as those two, Jacob and Evans, right here. They end up walking towards that towards that uh, barricade type of door or whatever. Just watch. We just pay attention as to what he says. It's it's kind of a little comical, I think. I'm ready. Let's go and see what's in that room. So, is it true what they said in the car that you took down a Terminator with your bare hands? It's true. How'd you do that? I didn't even know someone could do that. I was angry. Now focus, we have a job to do. This is it. How do you want to do this? Oh. Check what's inside. I'm heading back. Like I mentioned, he said, he said Russell Adler's little famous quote, we have a job to do. Alright. Wow. I forgot there was quite a bit of stuff here.
So, to all of me concern, I would like to remind you that helping our hermit friend outside the shelter is something you you do at your own at your own discretion. It was it was his choice to live outside. Don't you think don't you think you can tempt him in here to live with us? He has been with uh, uh, pardon me. <clears throat> He has he has he has been seen with explosives and some other and some of, of us considering him to be dangerous. So if you must interact with him, please follow these rules. Leave supplies well away from the outs, outside and out of sight. Avoid direct contact where possible. Is this where you are, Sarge? I've got a hold of some intel regarding someone who used to live just outside the shelter. Permission to follow the lead. Permission granted. Just remember, we don't want to alert Skynet to our presence here. So I need you to move undetected. Copy that. All right. Okay, uh, I'm just going to go back to that um, crafting table just to see if there's anything else I would need to craft, just to make sure everything's all top notch. Because at the same time, thinking uh, I don't know, but it's like yeah, I'll 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 have a look just in case. Because who knows? Let's just get going here. Crack this door open. All right. I uh, don't. Skynet's eyes on us right now. Just relax, it'll be fine. Now, this is a little something which I had accidentally done once. I think I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Which was is that came out here and wait and went straight that way. Now, there's there's some other areas here I didn't really think I could explore, which is all around here because there's some valuable stuff that you will need to up and grab and what do we have here And I thought there would be a little bit more than that. Okay, well, I know th I know there are some sections within part of this uh, building structure right here that there will be. Hmm. Second, go ahead and grab and whatever. Mm -hmm. 
I thought I would find it. Skill book. So now, uh, I think that's everything in that section over there. Now, to grab that. It's okay, I'm pretty confidently sure Skynet didn't hear that. Or in a different type of uh, alternative type of uh, reality war legion or genesis or whatever. Oh. Oh. All right. And here we descend down this way. See now, it's kind of a bit of a good thing I've upgraded um, the explosives part because. Now, I'll have no issues at all of getting through here. Provided none of these get set off or anything. There we go. quiet around here. Then again, nothing wrong with quietness. Quietness can always be nice. This doesn't really, like explode on me or anything like that. I hate the suspense like this. Uh... Okay, finally. Now, I'll grab this, get rid of that. Might be some more stuff I can craft, but we'll see. There. And smash this. Okay. I can go on in. Now, this is where uh, Clue gets picked up in this, in this part of the area here. Okay, hold on. Oh, wait. Jeez.
Hermit's Diary. All right. I've got to keep you a secret, Cindy. They don't know how special a rat you are. One sniff is all you need to tell a human from a tin can. That's why they're always trying to lure you away, f uh, away from me with food. But we can see them for what they really are. The human faces, the resistant uniforms... They're, t they're taking the people that were that were set up in the Galleria. Oh sure, this might look like your average evac job, but there but there hasn't been even one drone flying over us since they've been here. It's as if Skynet knows what's going on already. How would how would that be, eh? But they but they won't get you. They won't take you away from me. Even if I'm not there to protect you myself, I've set up our hideout nicely to give them a very warm welcome. This doesn't make any sense. Resistance soldiers came to evacuate them? I need to report this to Reese. Mm hmm. There should, there should be no more hostilities fr from here on out. <clears throat> oh. Probably won't need to do that, but figured I'll just do that anyway. Oh. More stuff for me to grab. All right, let's see what I can grab. Check something here very briefly, like here. Hmm. Well, I hope I will be able to pick up uh, more pipe bombs along the way. by getting rid of some stuff, but at the same time, my, uh, I know that, um, my inventory is not that big, so I'll have to make some adjustments and make some room. Okay, first things first here. Um... section Let's just 
just gonna have to do. Um, something else so we'll have to uh, check very briefly here. This is probably not going to exactly work, but I guess just for now, at least anyways. Because I don't really see a matching type of uh, um, stability type of chip. Doesn't look like I do. Okay, well, whatever. It'll have to do. see here was there anything else I would need I'll have to work. That's a very strange type of numbers. Okay. Sergeant, what's going on? Someone used an emergency broadcast system to deliver a message. One of ours? Judging by how inaccurate the message is, more likely sent by a civilian. One of our missing residents? That's what we'll need to figure out. It's our best lead so far. I found something. A note from someone who witnessed Northridge being evacuated. By what appeared to be resistance soldiers. That's right. That's what I was afraid of. Good job, Rivers. Now that we're certain of what happened here, there's no other way but to follow the signal. Then we're moving out soon? No. We leave at dusk. I don't want us to move around in daylight. Oh, and Rivers? There's something else about that message that concerns me. It's been sent from somewhere inside Bakersfield. Isn't that just on the edge of the Annihilation Line? That's right. We're moving out as soon as it gets dark. Now's the time to rest. All right. All right, uh, so there we go. Get a little bit of some shot eye, and then we'll transition. We'll transition ourselves from the uh, the biggest field to, I'm guessing, the annihilation line or something like that. Or there's gonna be a, there's gonna be plenty of Terminator machines to uh, excuse me to deal with. We've received permission from HQ to follow the signal. Next stop is Bakersfield. 
two hours away from the nearest resistance outpost. So if it gets too heated, there's no chance of support? That's right. Anyone have a problem with that? No, sir. I've got one thing, Sarge. Farrell? Shotgun. Shotgun? I only brought my rifle. Um... Okay, forget it. So, we received a message from Bakersfield. Okay, so yeah, I was right. This is the only lead we, we currently have, so we're heading to its source in search for the person who sent it. The city should be abandoned, so if someone is, so if someone is at Bakersfield, it could be one of our missing residents. However, it's dangerously close to the annihilation line. Close enough to put the, put, you know, put the whole team on edge. Well, hey, just being descriptive. Okay, here we go. This is it. The message was sent from somewhere around here. It wasn't accurate enough to give us the exact location. So to cover more ground, we'll be splitting into two groups. I'll be spotting for Rivers. Evans, you spot for Pharaoh. What exactly are we looking for, sir? Any signs of civilian activity. No one's been in the area for a long time, so report anything you see. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rules of engagement, sir. Fire at will. Let's move out. Rivers, let's go. Where do we start? There used to be a non-military checkpoint at an old command center in this area. That's where I want you to go first. Terminator's 12 o'clock. What do we do? We could let him pass. It's your call. Let him pass. Nice and easy. The building over there is a good vantage point. I'll be able to navigate you from there. Are you sure you're ready to do this on your own? Yes, sir. All right, then. Just keep your radio close. Good luck, Rivers. HK aerial flying by. We don't have enough firepower to destroy it, so keep an eye on it. If it searchlight spots you, you're out of luck. I'm at the top. I got a good view from here. I can see that the HK could be a problem. Comes a eight. Damn it! There we go. Finally, here comes a team, a small team of T-800s. Now I know that first time I had uh, tried to uh, play this level, I did one of those really kind of dumbass type of mistakes, which was engage, engage those um, those T eight hundreds, you know, pretty much like uh, just go at them face on, and like that, no, that was a really dumb. That was a really dumb thing to do. My first thought was, okay, I am never freaking doing that again. 
If I were to engage them, I'm going to be really, really smart about this. Be more, be more tactful, strategical about it. Take this as a warning. Get out of this place. Skynet has control over everything. The sky is full of aerials. They must have a refueling station somewhere near. I tried to find it, but I ran into a T-800 uh, T group. What I was just talking about. And what we just finished, uh, what we just finished seeing and watching. Ah, uh, they have a ton of equipment, and they and they are and they're using it to dig a huge hole in the earth. Seems like they're trying to make it all the way back to hell where they came from. As for me, I have to keep searching until I find little Abby. Mm -hmm. I know, I know her chances out here are next to nothing, but I can't tell. I can't tell her mother that. I have to be sure. But I'm warning you: if you don't need, if you don't need to be in this place, turn around and leave. There's nothing left here. Yeah. Oh. All right. Eh, might as well. for good measure okay so what I'm gonna do for now is just cut the video right here because it's the way I've been playing this it's been, it's been close to an hour anyways so like I said I'm just gonna cut it right here and I'll be, and I will be able to make more of the progress go on here now when I first started uh, pretty much playing within playing within this level on this level here within this area I'm not gonna lie. I, you know, I was trying to, um, I was trying to feel my way around as to, okay, how to, I had to be very, very cautious and take down some of those T-800, especially that that T-800 group that I just walked on by, uh, when uh, Jacob was in that position, and like obviously taking them all out head on first, uh, just full throttle right in their faces kind of thing. I'm sorry, but that is. That is just foolish right there. You would have to be more prudent upon your next action. And face on, no, I wouldn't recommend that. That is the reason why. Um, I got that sniper rifle. Ping off some of them from a distance and it just, well, hopefully some of you have the patience like I do because I know I could be quite patient and be able to Use that rifle to take to take out some of these T six hundreds or T hundreds from a long distance range. So by the time I get into that area, I won't have to worry about anything. I won't have to worry about any hostiles, especially within close proximate range type of deal. It's like, well, hey, it works, right? And there we go. Okay, so. Uh, cause like, like I mentioned before, when I was messing around with this area, I had some issues like how do we get around this, how do we do this and this and whatever. So it's about the whole part of playing the whole, playing the whole game through, gameplay through, playing the whole game through, getting a feel for it, especially the type of, uh, attributed skills and the requirements that you need, need, uh, just to get through the level with great deal amount of success. Of course, who doesn't look at that, right? All right. So, uh, probably for tonight, I won't be able to continue on with this. I will, on the next like day or so, I'll be able to continue on no problem here. 
and I'll inevitably get this lo uploaded up onto my YouTube, YouTube channel and so on. So anyways, everyone, as always as usual, thank you very much for tuning in, tuning into my to my channel once again here. This is Mac. If this is the first time you're following me on my Twitch channel here, which is Mikhailer 7 by all means, do uh, please do follow me. It's a great deal amount of support, and I appreciate that. Thank you. And same thing, uh, by all means, if this is the first time you're viewing this on my YouTube channel here, please do... Please do be, sh be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and the notification button. If, it, if you also have any comments or questions, by all means, feel free to you know feel free to toss them in the comment section. And if you want to share this, if you and by all means, share this with other people that dig into this type of content. So once again, everyone, I will see you all here very soon as I as I get more of this up and going here. Till then, peace out. Stay gold.